Welcome back to our next podcast on cue card making. Turn on auto caption for better experience. Once upon a time, in the digital realm of the internet, there existed a website that held the power to transform lives and make the impossible possible. This magical website, called eSanskriti, became an integral part of my daily routine, guiding me through the vast expanse of Indian culture and connecting me with the richness of my heritage. eSanskriti was a virtual treasure trove of knowledge, a portal that celebrated the diverse traditions, art forms, and customs that make India so enchanting. As soon as I stumbled upon its virtual doors, I was greeted with a vibrant interface adorned with colorful illustrations and captivating snippets of Indian mythology. It was as if I had entered a mystical world, ready to embark on a grand adventure. The website was thoughtfully designed, making it incredibly user-friendly and accessible to people of all ages and backgrounds. Its comprehensive menu offered a plethora of options, allowing visitors to explore various facets of Indian culture. From ancient scriptures and philosophical teachings to folk dances and classical music, Sanskriti left no stone unturned in its quest to preserve and promote India's rich cultural heritage. One of the website's most captivating features was its interactive section on Indian festivals. It acted as a guide providing detailed insights into the significance, rituals, and traditions associated with each festival. With the click of a button, I could immerse myself in the vibrant colors of Holi, understand the spiritual essence of Diwali, or witness the grandeur of Navaratri. The website even offered virtual tours of famous temples and historical sites, allowing me to experience the architectural marvels of India from the comfort of my own home. Sanskriti was not just a repository of information. It also encouraged active participation and learning. It featured online workshops and courses conducted by experts in various fields, enabling enthusiasts like me to delve deeper into specific aspects of Indian culture. Whether it was learning classical dance moves, mastering the art of Rangoli, or understanding the intricacies of Indian cuisine, Isanskriti provided a platform for individuals to hone their skills and connect with like-minded individuals from around the world. What truly made Isanskriti stand out was its commitment to community building. The website boasted a thriving online forum where culture enthusiasts could come together, engage in discussions, and share their experiences. It fostered a sense of belonging as people from different corners of the globe connected over their shared love for Indian culture. It was not uncommon to find lively debates on ancient scriptures, heartwarming stories of personal encounters with Indian traditions, or collaborative projects that celebrated the beauty of Indian art forms. Thanks to Sanskriti, my connection with my Indian heritage grew stronger each day. The website became a daily ritual for me, a sanctuary where I could immerse myself in the cultural tapestry that shaped my identity. It became a constant companion, always ready to inspire, educate, and ignite a sense of pride in my roots. As the years went by, Sanskriti continued to evolve, introducing innovative features and expanding its reach. It became a beacon of knowledge for countless individuals seeking to learn more about India's rich cultural heritage. Its impact spread far and wide, bridging gaps between generations, and bringing people closer to their roots. Today, Sanskriti remains a cherished part of my life, a never-present reminder of the beauty and depth of Indian culture. It serves as a reminder that the internet, when harnessed in the right way, has the power to preserve traditions, bridge distances, and ignite a sense of belonging in this fast-paced, globalized world. In the vast expanse of the digital realm, Sanskriti stands tall as a testament to the beauty of Indian culture, its virtual embrace encompassing all who seek to immerse themselves in its enchanting world. Thank you for listening to our education podcast. As we wrap up this episode, we want to take a moment to express our gratitude for all of our listeners. We hope that our podcast has been a valuable resource for you in your educational journey and that it has provided you with insights, inspiration, and knowledge that you can apply in your life and we look forward to sharing more insights with you in our next episode.